Hello everyone, welcome to the second video in our Let's Play. In this one, we'll be doing some base work and we'll also be making an iron farm. Both of these is what we absolutely need because our base is terrible so far. And iron, well, just consider it non-existent. So let's get right into it. And the first thing I have to ask today is what is this? In between episodes, I fixed the mob farm, grinded that for XP. Enchanted my tools, worked on our trading hall, got mending, and got sand. Alright guys, it's been a while since you last saw me, and I've done a couple of things here. To start off with our base. First thing is, I have put some leaves around our path and actually made a path to there. I will maybe extend and make some more paths. And then, I have replaced the top there with some concrete, but I'm going to tear this all down and I'll explain to you why after I show you what that is. So back here and on top of my diamond pile here, uh, so I have this concrete design thing in the front and it's basically, I tried to make this kind of like a ruined sort of window here and, oh, my sword, okay, but it's, I put some leaves around obviously and I used concrete powder and polished diorite to make it more like a ruined concrete. I also finished the floor, not the ceiling yet. Um, and this goes up to the enchanting table and maybe some other stuff. This goes down to the nether portal. So basically all I've done, uh, so see here, just, and I don't know what color to use for this yet. Like the glass, it could be white, I don't know, whatever you guys want. Um, because I, I have no personal opinion on this right now because, I don't know, I just don't know what to do for that. But if you look here, I did add leaves also to the side of the mountain there and here. So the last thing I have to tell you guys is that this is, I constructed another ladder design that doesn't use acacia. And the reason for that is, acacia, that doesn't tie into this at all like I have the palette is stone brick or like a grayish color and white right so this orange yet yeah, doesn't incorporate into this at all so I constructed another design that I will show you right now in creative so I built this design in my laggy industrial world and I don't know why but basically this is the ladder that I'm going to build once I take down the other one iron bars and give it more of that metallic industrial look and iron trapdoors. And so we're just going to build this all the way up. And then up here, this is our bridge. And same thing under here with the, all the supports and everything. I think it fits our theme. So that's like a plus. But one uh, thing that we have to sacrifice is the back trapdoor. Usually since there's going to be a mountain here, no one's going to be coming from the back. So, but it is quite a sacrifice. Yeah, tell me what you guys think. So... Let's hop back in the main world. Alright, so now that I have oh, okay, we're not gonna run down there yet. Uh sleep. But we are down to the brims with iron. We have basically none. Like, I think on the last I checked I had like two iron. Before I move on to the iron farm. Our iron farm will be in the main village, because that's like where the spawn chunk is, and that means the spawn chunk is like always loaded. Uh, and by loaded, I mean it's always running when someone's in the world. So, uh, before this guy attacks me, this used to be full of cows. No more cows. I don't know where it went. It's gone. Uh, no loot either, so I don't know what happened. Let's go make our iron farm. And I'm thinking that the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have our iron farm up there, right? Maybe the iron golems, like, right there. They die at this level. And then we have the loot come, loot come down and sorted. <sighs> that's not good. Yes. All right. So that's that's our zombie. Is he in the cauldron? Let's make sure he's in the cauldron. All right. So I finally got him in. And what I did was I put slabs here so I could crouch here and push him in because he was standing up. So I have myself a name tag. And here is where Mr. Cuddles. And now he can't get out even if he tried. So that's the zombie. Now we just have to worry about all of the villagers. So on the fifth block out, that's the when the bed starts. So okay, so I'm gonna get these villagers over there by making one of them in a corner too. 
Right, and do this, these corners, right? So we can't get out. And I go on the outside, here, on here, where he is, and basically, here's what I do. So I get my bed, his bed, put this here, get a bell, break this so he half finds. And if I ring the bell, should, yep, he went to his thing. Our first villager now should be going in. And there he goes, the last one. Alright guys, I have both of the modules done now, and now we have to start the killing chamber. Everything's great and all, but it's that moment that you realize you put your villager cells up one too high. So let's fix that real quick. Alright guys, so I finished everything, except the collection system, and you can tell, but it's already working, and these guys just keep on making more and more iron golems, and so I got complaining, so now we should have to worry about this. Collecting the drops. Okay, that's perfect. Oh crap, what happened? Oh god. I just I just fixed that mess. It was basically a creeper spawned on the edge and blew up and destroyed that, so I just had to fix it. And here, well, one creeper. Well no, one creeper, two creepers, so. For the item sorter, I swear I had a stack of redstone blocks because this is all I have. I could actually uh, trade with villagers, I suppose. You could go to my wheat field and trade with villagers and I can buy redstone. Yeah, that yeah, that works That works a lot better. So you might have noticed, um, before I just had it as dirt here and up there, but I just spent a bit of time just cleaning this up and yeah, it's, it's working. And I'm still very low on redstone. I got a little bit more. Let's see if this farmer can still trade with me. If he restocked. Alright, and let's see. And then you can trade with the cleric and you get redstone dust as a trade, which is really good. But as you can see here, I placed everything with stone brick. Alright, so now I have everything necessary to complete this farm, so I let's be, all we have to do is really just put comparators like this, repeaters, I mean, uh, not repeaters, redstone dust, like this, all across this entire thing, not that, don't do that, and we'll put a repeater here in the inside, I might not be able to, yeah, alright, let's destroy these, there, and... Like that, and basically we just have to put redstone torches here along that. That's basically your item sorter, and then I set up the inside. Uh, let's get a little off track for the second. I want to say this. This project, while it looks good and kind of weird, I feel like for the size and scale, this roof isn't going to fit. And I don't know how to make it as big as it is go to fit this all. So I'm definitely going to change the theme of this, because right now it's like oak just oak and stone bricks so i'm going to change this probably to something related to this because i want like all of this to kind of see the same and that means i might rework this all right so now i can show you what i mean by the current situation of the bone meal so if i go behind here and the bone meal one is this one so basically what I'm going to do is uh, this one will instead, um, here if I have to, I don't know how I'm going to reach this. Um, basically that composter will be right there and if I go above and put the hopper there. Alright, that's good. Alright, there and we still need the trash can, well we'll do that later. There, there is a lot better farms, like don't get me wrong. But out of the more simple farms, this is by far the best. Like, I'm just going to say it. Like, all those people are like, easy, simple. Yeah, they might be easy and simple, but is it really good? Like, this is like 500 plus an hour, I think. There's this moment, if you look in the chat here, respawn point set, that's this bed. And that there's that moment when you set your respawn point in someone else's bed. Okay, this is how it's going to work, the signal. Basically, you do that, and then you have a block here to make it slabs. 
like that. So now every single time something here goes around, the signal goes around, cuts off the signal from the comparator, and then sends a new one. So every single time there's, it's are you basically every single time something is in here, gets suspense. For example, what do we want suspense in here? We might be able to catch the smoke particles. Uh, let's just say shovel. I don't know, but it's not in there anymore. Okay, I didn't see it, but it's not in there anymore. All right, guys. So we got our design here we got i just made this and this but the problem is this right so bone meal i needed the extra two slots because of composters and you need a composter to turn some of this into bone meal that i was thinking earlier though that i could use leaves to make it a little bit more like it's a natural coming down of the leaf but let's see probably won't look good i'm going to guess like does that look good i'm not really. I mean, uh, like it looks somewhat decent. If I added more leaves and ruin to this build, it would probably fit in. I think, yeah. So I'm just gonna grab some more leaves and see if I can make this kind of fit. And my old, I had this old idea of, or I might have mentioned it, I don't know, uh, about this hourglass building. I don't think we can do that now because this is making this kind of thick. So I'd have to make the hourglass bigger. And it's a really challenging build. So I've done it, I've spent, like, at least... I've spent a couple of hours just in creative doing a lot of things. And it's not... It's very hard to get it right. So I think I'm just going to somehow make this into a stone brick feel. Alright, by a little bit of just some simple leaves placing and making this iron bar. So I think we got some sort of a feel here. So, yeah, I think we have something going here. And I might... We're going to continue this around maybe and around this entire building and maybe stretch it out to up here. We might, we have to do something special up here. I don't know what yet, but probably, we're probably going to, let's see, we'll see, we'll see. And we're gonna, definitely going to continue this feel onto this one there and yeah, that one. I think we're getting somewhere. I just put stairs up there and up here I'm actually making a pad. So... Yeah, and I have to... I'm going to bring this up one, actually. But what I have done is add some leaves and, you know, just put this iron bar. As if you've been showing that view before. And, just, you know, freshing this up. So this thing, I'm going to have to bump this up one more, I think. Because, actually, no, I shouldn't. Mm, I will do this, right? Because I want this to be even with the... Like this, so if I... Do that but basically what I'm trying to do right now is uh make the floor even with the front and so we're just gonna have like a walk into the top here if you someone's interested in that or buzz by someone I mean myself so not that bad we're, all, we're gonna light this place all up actually why don't I do that right now so just trying to make this a little bit better but right now our only color palette is basically it's leaves iron bars and Stone brick, so I don't know what we're gonna do th about this to freshen it up, but we'll see, we'll see. So I've just finished placing in the final bits here, and I think we got something. We finally, ju I just filled in the roof up there, and I don't think I'm gonna add any side fences, but to me, I think this looks really, really good, and we got some side stairs over here, and I made another path up here, and one there, and up here. So, really... Really simple build, and I think it fits our iron farm quite nicely. Alright guys, so give me some suggestions about how I could improve this, but I'm really surprised about what we could do with just really just our main block of stone bricks. But I have a really big incentive to add something else to this because it's pretty bland. Alright, so I've made some modifications to our auto dropper here using a different design. And... I can also, I also have done something else if I hop on outside of here. I also have changed this floor up a little bit and given a little here and trying to make limit the amount of grass. In. So I've just ran into a wandering trader that is trading for slime and hopefully I just ran and got wheat and I know, I just saw him and I know he didn't despawn. That's good, so... We have now, he should have slime right there, yep. And we got four slime balls. So, 
I have some shaders in the game now, and it looks really, really cool. So, but this is not symmetrical on this side. So we're just going to extend this, oh, we're going to extend this killing chamber out one up here, just to make it more, like, realistic. So, obviously, I'm just going to, I'm just showing you guys, this is, I'm not going to play like this, maybe only for, like, special occasions, but let me just make this symmetrical. Alright guys, now everything is completely symmetrical, and I said welcome to Ironborn because, I don't know, and no one, it's not, it's a shop, but it's not really a shop because most people will probably just come in and take the stuff in here, but I'm completely fine with that. But yeah, it's just that, and I just added some prices up here, and if they actually wanted to pay, because right now, yeah, no one's really on, so that's why I consider this a let's play. But, you know, just in case, and I did manage to actually make this symmetrical, so if I wanted to, I can make a fence, and it would be fine, and make a pole on the outside. Yeah, it adds a little bit of color, I guess. Yeah, I... Yeah, I, I guess I consider that. Yeah, that looks good. I think I should keep it, and we'll just do that. Another thing, along with leaves, like, you can just stash these around and make their build look better. Another thing is just to put barrels around, so here I could put maybe some... You know, some barrels lying around. Another thing we can do to add a little bit of detail is have some of these barrels actually stand so we can scatter some, you know, items and some of here. Just to, you know, I doubt anyone's actually going to open these barrels, but adds a little bit of detail. Let's actually light this place up nicely. I'm going to use lanterns now that I'm rich. Thinking like this, right? And then like that. Because the lava can do this middle area. So, perhaps we just light this up like that. Alright, so now, after placing our lanterns right there, we can place our lanterns on the top, hopefully, to make this thing look better. Yeah, it looks different, but it looks good. And if I had more item frames, I would do something, but I... Yeah, uh, let's do that. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a couple seconds. A small detail that we can add to this... These lanterns to make it a little bit more unique is uh we can do place a item frame down there and then put an oak plank there and kind of twist it like that kind of looks like it's holding it up and then we can do this for every single one of these so i am over here and putting some cracked stone bricks along this area just to give it a little bit of a you know a little bit more of that ruined vibe and another reason i am over here is to get some more iron because we're soon going to start the ladder and for that, of course, we're using that metallic kind of feel, so we're going to need, let's say, that's a good amount. And then over here, let's return some of these beds that I have, because as of right now, I only have two in here. And you've picked up a trade. He's probably picked up the barrels. We're going to replace that with that industrial kind of one instead of this, so let's get right into it. Yep, I think we're done now. This is amazing. Well, not amazing, but really good. Really, really good. I'm afraid that's going to have to do it for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.